everyone. Today's review is going to be on the stone wave that everybody's been getting at the Dollar Tree because this past week they've had some few products that are as seen as on TV there. So every everybody's actually grabbing them. I was actually able to grab two of these stone waves. Um, I haven't seen any other ones. I've actually only seen it at one store. But we're going to go ahead and try to make an omelet. There's actually a recipe in here. I'm just going to put in the ingredients that I want. But basically you're going to start off with two large eggs. And it actually says, there's a tip in there that says, To make sure you whip the eggs really well with a fork or a whisk before cooking. The more whipped the eggs are, the, um, the more soft and fluffy the finished omelet will be. Um, I whip my eggs. This is how my eggs look. I'm going to go ahead and put some pepper. And some salt. Up again a little bit and I've got some chopped yellow peppers that I actually saved from yesterday because I uh, ended up making an omelet yesterday but let's go ahead and put some tomatoes in there that's four cherry tomatoes but it's your choice you can put as many as you want you can put any kind of vegetable you want in there. I don't really like my omelet with um, tomatoes, jalapenos, and spinach, but um, today I'm going to try it with broccoli and some peppers. Oops. So you put that in there, and then we're going to just kind of chop these up a little bit. You can tear it apart or try to cut it with a knife. Dump that in there. I'm gonna leave that out. I'll just tear this apart. Let's throw some of these in there. I know I'm making a mess. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm just kind of mix it together. Okay. And now. Here's the stone wave. It's the cover. It doesn't say to spray it. I don't believe it does. Let me just see real quick. Um, I don't think you have to. So I'm just going to dump this in there. And I'm going to put some cheese on top. I'm actually using just fat free cheese only because I'm trying to watch what I eat but if you put some real cheese in there I'm pretty sure it will taste really good this is mozzarella cheese you don't have to mix it in there just um, put it on top and the microwave will melt it for you now the directions say to put it in the microwave for one and a half minutes. Make sure you put the cover on top. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to remove it and just take a fork and poke it. See if it's cooked. If it's not cooked, put it back into the microwave. It's all going to depend on the wattage of the microwave. So I'll be right back. I'm back. Um, I cooked it for a minute and a half, took it out. Um, it still was a little bit of liquid in there, so I put it back in there for an additional 30 seconds. And here's the final look. That's the cheese that's melted on top. I'm gonna try to take it out without, let's see. And you take your fork and just 
roll around like that a little bit and then try to lift it out. You could possibly next time try to use um, spray butter, but I don't think it's really necessary. So that's the inside. And that's the final look. So I'm going to have mine with some potatoes. Those are hash browns. I, if you want to see how I made that, I have a video on it. Make sure to check that out. I'm trying to give this a little bit of taste. Hmm. That's really good, guys. This actually would be perfect for work. You can um, have all your ingredients mixed up, put a container, and then just you know keep one of the stone waves at work so that whenever you want to have breakfast, it's a quick minute and a half to two minute depending again on the wattage and the wellness, um, the doneness of the, um, the egg that you want. Uh, hope you like this video. Please make sure to subscribe. Just a heads up, um, if you are following Weight Watchers, this is definitely a um, simply filling recipe. You should definitely give it a try. Um, you can also add meats in there like pre-cooked meats. Anything that you have left over in the fridge that might be a power food or if you want to count points, you could use anything else. Next time I'm actually going to put some chicken in there or even some of the Canadian bacon. Thanks for watching guys uh, and hope to see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.